Hello, my name is Tony Chan with Telecom TV. I'm here at the OpenStack Summit 2017 in Sydney, Australia. With me today is David Lambert from Lumina Networks. David, thanks for joining us. So, um, Lumina is quite a young company, so how do you position yourself as a technology company within the microservices vendor space? Um, I guess just like we've seen in the network virtualization space, in the, the I guess the cloud services or, or virtualization space, we still see a, a need for connectivity, probably, perhaps even more so in the microservices space. And that's where I think Lumina with uh, our SDN controller is uh, positioned uniquely to, to take um, you know, market, or take the market or go, go after the market um, with an open source uh, distribution. What are the overall benefits that Lumina is targeting with microservices? And uh, what are the key value propositions? So we bring, uh, I think, three, three benefits to the table. So we have an open source controller which stands on its own. Um, we have application um, services or applications that we bring on top of the SDN controller as well as application development services. So if someone wants to develop an application, we can assist them with that. And we also have a net dev, dev services team which um, is key to integrate services and uh, virtual functions and virtual networking functions in, in this uh, new market of, of um, containerization. So. Okay. I understand that net dev is, is quite unique to Numina. Um, can you explain what, what it is? So uh, NetDev stands for Network Development Services. Um, that's a team of uh, professional engineers that um, can come and assist customers in transitioning into um, you know, a, a virtualization space, especially in, in, um, container, uh, in the container areas. Um, but they also help customers transition their operations and engineering teams into this you know, development services, so bringing CI, CD um, uh, features and functionalities and processes into the customer's domain. And uh, taking a step back, um, can you kind of explain the relevance of uh, an SDN controller to this world of microservices? So an SDN controller is, is really an abstraction layer for um, orchestration, so it's a common, common uh, message bus. Um, and just like I think in uh, you know, virtual networking, so you know, OpenStack or, or VMware or any type of virtualization environment, and also in um, networking services, we, we can abstract the, uh, the connectivity to the, to the devices to provide a common layer where northbound applications that will speak to the controller have a common message bus to be able to program virtual networks. And it's, it's the same with container networks. You know, we need to program these things in a common way. So can you explain the relevance of an SDN controller in this microservices world? Um, just like we see in traditional computer and traditional networking, um, we expect to be able to, ha be able to orchestrate connectivity in, in a containerized uh, world. You know, microservices still need network orchestration, so it's really an API for the network to connect services or applications in a, a microservices environment. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you.